If you had to learn WordPress all over again, how would you do it? You see, I'm on a journey to try to get better at putting myself in the shoes of people that don't know anything about WordPress or Thrive Themes, and I figured, okay, a great place for us to start would be to curate a list of great places where people can start learning about WordPress. I'm going to cover nine different resources on this video. And the very first and probably best resource of them all is obviously this YouTube channel. So we primarily talk about Thrive Suite on our channel, which is a set of tools for WordPress that you can use to design websites and build up your email list and create online courses. But we also love to talk about marketing and building businesses on WordPress as well. So, um, you know, be sure to subscribe to our channel if you're a WordPress enthusiast, because we share your passion. Another great and probably the most popular WordPress resource of all time is WPBeginner.com. Yes, it's probably uh, the most famous blog to have ever existed in the WordPress space. It's been around since 2009. And if you've been building on WordPress for a while now, I'm sure that you've come across it at some point. They have tutorials, they've got guides about everything that you can possibly think of from basic things like, you know, picking out a good hosting service to run your WordPress website on to more advanced topics on uh, you know, how to use different WordPress tools. And I think it's also worth mentioning as a different resource, the WP Beginner YouTube channel. I actually know the folks running that channel and they're very talented people that know WordPress in and out and they put out a humongous amount of free content every week on how to best utilize WordPress and make the most out of it. WP 101 is also a phenomenal resource. It's more course oriented, but they offer again, a gazillion amount of free courses and free resources for all things WordPress, from basic things on how to get started blogging to more in-depth material on how to use specific tools like RafflePress to run giveaways or all-in-one SEO to boost your site's visibility. All in all, it's a, it's a great place for anyone who likes to learn things in a more structured way rather than looking up random things on YouTube as you go. And speaking of courses, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to do another plug here. Thrive University is another great place for you to learn more about how to build a successful business on WordPress. We've got both free and premium courses on how to build a business in a weekend, on how to build and nurture your email list, on using quizzes to segment your traffic and better market to users. You should really check it out. I'm going to apologize in advance here, but uh, Rimka's, Rima's, man, I'm sorry, but he has an awesome WordPress newsletter in which he uh, especially focuses on teaching entrepreneurs how to build high performing websites, sites that load quickly, that perform well, and they can scale to serve high loads of traffic. He also runs a podcast on WordPress news, which is pretty cool. I don't necessarily always agree with everything that Rimkas has to say, but I still find myself reading insightful things in most of the newsletters that he shares out. So, you know, I figured I'd give him a shout out. There's one more YouTube channel that I think most WordPress new users should subscribe to, which is the All-in-One SEO channel. So if you've been watching my content for a while now, you know that All-in-One SEO is my SEO plugin of choice. It does wonders in making it super easy for me to make sure that my content is as effectively presented to search engines as it possibly can. And what the all-in-one SEO team shares on YouTube is pure gold. They've got tons of tutorials on optimizing content and just making sure that the, you know, that all of the effort that you're putting into creating your content is, uh, you know, properly seen by search engines. And it's also a great place for you to stay tuned on all of the ongoing and of course, never ending algorithm updates that Google is always doing. So yeah, be sure to check them out. It's weird in a way that I haven't put this one up higher in the list, but WordPress.com, like WordPress itself is also a cool place for you to learn some of the basics on how to get started on WordPress. This is a resource that, uh, you know, those of us that have been doing things on WordPress for a long time now haven't had access to, but if you go to wordpress.com forward slash learn, you'll find great tutorials and courses on getting started on WordPress. And there are even guides in other languages as well, other than English. So it might be worth it to you checking it out. And I wanted to wrap up the list with a cool place for you to get started with e-commerce on WordPress. And that would be learnwoo.com. They've got great free training materials on getting started with WooCommerce, figuring out some of the intricacies behind shipping and tracking and invoicing and you know, some of those things that sometimes can be a little bit confusing to set up. So if you're looking to kickstart your e-commerce store on WordPress, be sure to check them out. 
after you've checked out our course on how to build an e-commerce store from scratch using Thrive Theme Builder, which is available for free inside Thrive University. All right, let me know down in the comment section below which resources you found useful when you were starting your own WordPress journey. And hey, a thumbs up button would be greatly appreciated if you liked the video. And by the way, there's a link in the description box that you can click on to check out Thrive University. Sign up, we've got a great ton of free courses that you can uh, start taking today. And uh, yeah, thanks, thanks for watching. I'll, I'll catch you soon. Thanks again. Bye.